Evil Dave is here. Good morning, Evil Dave. Good morning, Howard. How are you doing today? Dave Letterman with us. Doing great, I understand. Uh, your show is going strong. You're making thirty-one million dollars a year, Dave. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'm darn proud of it too. But let me ask you something, Howard. What, what do you think smells worse? A, a possum killed three days ago on the New York Thruway, or Hillary Clinton's pap smear? What do you think? Wow, <laughs> Dave, coming out of the box. I got to tell you something, Dave. Uh, that'd be a rough one. Yeah. I don't know which would smell worse. I don't know. I'm just getting some ideas on the road today. Yeah. All right. We're going to fix these. By the way, Howard, I know Halloween is just around the corner, but aren't you wearing the disguise a week uh, too early? Oh, Dave. Oh, that was oh. a good night. Go over <laughs> hey, You're come on. Rip on Johnny I'm Nightmare. sorry. Dave, I put you on here. I let you say whatever you want, yeah. I, like unlike that dopey show of yours, and, and this is how you repay me. Don't bite the hand. You know, I, I just want to say one thing here, Howard. Yeah. You know, I know uh, Katie Kirk is lonely. Do you think if I brought her a, you know, bought her a strap on, uh, she'd be kind enough to, you know, use it on me? Could be, Dave. Dave Letterman, by the way, joining us, Robin, this morning. Yeah. Oh, man, he's had some interesting thoughts. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the one show where he can get him out. I mean, on his show, he's going to be very conservative. You know, I, I just want to say, I, no. by the way, I, I saw Johnny last month. and uh, Johnny Carson? Johnny Carson. No yeah. kidding. How is he? Uh, you know, he's still vertical. But, uh, you know, I saw Johnny, Ed, and I, uh, we went to uh, Tijuana. We mentioned about uh, surgery uh, once on a vacation. And we were so uh, ripped uh, on tequila and uh, you know crystal myth that uh, crystal uh, myth? yeah crystal myth and uh, crystal Johnny myth. Johnny uh, made Ed uh, bang a burl and uh, you know eat alpo right out of an old uh, Mexican hooker's uh, taco yeah just for a goof what we both laughed so hard we peed in our pants Johnny was always peeing in his pants back then. Yeah. and then uh, you know I was on his boat last month and he uh, he dumped a body. You know, I didn't really? ask any questions. Yeah, well, you know, after all, he is the king of late night. <laughs> right. Well, Johnny tells you to dump a body, you tell him. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, you always uh, wonder what he's doing on that phone. Dave Letterman, everybody, with us. That, that story sounds like a crystal myth. Yeah. <laughs> so you and Johnny to crystal myth. Crystal myth, yeah. And what was it, a burl you did? Yeah, banged a burl. <laughs> <laughs> God rest his soul. <laughs> hey, you want to get your mom and dad, Dave? You know, I, 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 have, a, I have a game for you. Dave Letterman. Yeah. Who is it, we call it who is the biggest parasite? Yoko Ono or Antonio Banderas? All right, let me think about that. Who is the biggest parasite? Madonna or Guy Ritchie? Well, well, hold on. Let me You're think. Ahead. Yeah. Let me think. <laughs> what do you think? All right. Madonna or Guy Ritchie? I think Guy Ritchie's a bigger parasite than Madonna. Yeah. And I think uh, Yoko or, or uh, Yoko or Yoko Ono or, or you know Antonio Banderas. I think Yoko Ono. Uh-huh. Paul Schaefer or uh, Vivian Favalli? Vivian Favalli? Yeah. <laughs> Vinny's wife? Vinny. Yeah. Vinny oh, Favalli. V Vinny yeah. Favalli. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Vinny Favalli. I said Vivian Favalli. <laughs> Man, get me a studio audience. I've got the makings of a game show here, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is it? Vinny Favalli and who? Uh, Vinny Favalli and uh, or Paul Schaefer. Oh. What do you think? Vinny Favalli. Yeah. <laughs> Vinny has no talent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vivian Dave. Favalli's very talented. Yeah, who's Vivian Favalli? I have no idea. Wow. All right, Dave, it's great to have you here this morning. Thank you very much. All right. Yes, Dave. You know, I, I, had, a, I had a nasty little fantasy about Christopher Reeve the other night. I pushed him out of his uh, wheelchair and, uh, you know, set uh, my naked ass right on his uh, healthy finger. And I woke up in a, in a pool of his own mess. Wow. Huh? Yeah. That's a kinky dream. I got three words for Christopher Reeve. Get over it, buddy. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Dave Letterman, much edgier here than on his own show. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in the middle of a monologue, Dave. Sorry, sir. Hey, nobody interrupts you when you're telling your two jokes. Oh, yeah. No one craps in your iron lung. <laughs> now is the time in the show where we give a honorarium, a Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh. And this year, and I know he's going to be moved by this, is our own evil Dave Letterman. Uh, he is the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award, and that's why I've asked him here to the FME's Live today. And, uh, Dave, yes, sir. you've done so many great things when you're on the show, right. and I would like to now do a retrospective of some of your appearances. Here is an example of Dave just killing, just doing so great, not messing up any words, <laughs> getting everything <laughs> right. This was Dave when he did his uh, anal top ten list. Oh, okay. I love it. So here it is. Uh, the uh, category from the home office there, uh, Howard. 
Sure, yeah. Home of us in Union, New Jersey. Ah, uh, Wahoo, whatever. Uh, top ten things I like to shout uh, when I'm getting anal. All right. Top ten things Dave likes to shout when he's getting anal. Okay, I'm glad you're interpreting. All right, go ahead, Dave. Here we go. Uh, number ten, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number nine, where's the beef? That ain't right. Uh, number eight, harder, Mr. Dan, rather harder. <laughs> yeah, around the end. Uh, number seven, yeah. <laughs> no. How do you spell that? I don't know. <laughs> number six, sorry, I just stayed out. Clean up the mess. <laughs> Uh, number five, yes, Massa, yes. Uh. Uh, number four, I'm so sad about the attack on the World Trade Center. Uh, number three, use both hands at once. <laughs> and the number one thing you uh, say... I got one more. Uh, number two, oh. Anna, Anna. <laughs> and the number one thing, Howard, I like to shout when I'm getting anal. Mmm, let me lick your hand. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. Wow. Yeah. Dave, that was great. And Dave, uh, so many times you've done things well, but there are those times that you mess things up. And that's why we honor you tonight with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Here's a, a couple of examples of Dave kind of screwing up. This is his famous Anna Kornikova. <laughs> when Dave attempts to read the line, you know what my fantasy is? Tying up Anna Kornikova, stripping off her panties, pour honey on her crotch, and let a jar of bees make a live moving pubic wig between her legs all right dave has a problem with that well you know my fantasy is to tie up uh, anna karkova who <laughs> anna karkova anna karkonova who i get some more weed here <laughs> anna karkonova yeah strip her off her panties pour honey on her crotch and and uh, let you know a jar of bees uh, make a you know a live moaning uh, public wing between her legs <laughs> I'm a, a public wing. wink. What did he just say? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dave, we went over this yesterday. Yeah, yeah, we had trouble with it yesterday. Yeah, it's, so it's, cross it off if he has trouble with yeah, it. But you got to get it right at the end. Yeah. Well, that was yesterday. A live what? I truly don't know what he said. Uh, you want to say it again? A uh, pubic wig between her legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be taken out of family family show. <laughs> a public wing. Yeah. How did that turn into public wing? I, know. <laughs> I just got that. wing. <laughs> Dave, so many times you uh, entertain us with your errors, and that's why we give you the Lifetime Achievement Award. I remember you did your joke about uh, P. Diddy, and you butchered that famous rapper's name, P. Diddy. Uh, well, actually, I just wanted to ask her, is, is P. Diddy as hot in person as he looks P. Diddy. Like P. Diddy. Yeah, P. Diddy. <laughs> is that the guy his name? And what about, who can forget the time, Dave? Your Mr. Roboto line. I remember you tried to recite that famous <laughs> 80s song, Domo Origato, Mr. Roboto. Sometimes I go up to Japanese girls and say, Domo or a goto, Mr. Robo, and and then I do a little robot dance, and you know, then I flash my uh, my pee pee to them. You know, I got got me laid once. I'm sorry. What did you say, Dave, girl sorry. again? Dave crowbarring his way into the conversation. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to know what he said again to them. What? How do you get it? Say that Japanese, and, and try and say domo arigato, Mr. Yeah. Roboto. Mr. Right. Robo. <laughs> Mr. Robo. There you go. And who can forget the Iverson? Conversation where Dave mixes up Alan Iverson's name. Do you realize I was thinking about this? Do you realize Alan Iverson's mom said uh, more words in 30 seconds than uh, Fred has, uh, you know, since Jackie left? Fred what? <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, do you realize that Fred Iverson's Did mom. He jump Fred Iverson. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Fred Iverson's right. mom. Fred Iverson, who's really that? No, uh, <laughs> no, no, seriously. No, we do. What is going on over there? I don't know. The wheat beer. wheat beer. You know, during the break, Dave told me that Pam Andelson has hepatitis K. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the list goes on and on, Dave, and we love you so much. Is, is Jason Priestley out of the hospital yet? I was hoping to, you know, pee in his IV uh, too for a couple of laughs. Okay. Next well, you know what? One of my favorites was when uh, I, I call it the tattoo Tupac. <laughs> While Suge Knight is in the studio as a guest. Dave tries to mourn the death of Tupac Shakur. All right. But gets his name wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> He's very saddened by the death of Tattoo. What? A tattoo, yeah, yes. I just wanted you to know I was very saddened by that. He certainly was a fine rapper. Oh, that, uh, that 
that child song brought uh, shivers to my body and, you know, made me cry. Tattoo recently died? Yeah. Who is Tattoo? I don't know what he's talking about. You know what he's talking about? I love tattoos. He has <laughs> stairs over what? I don't know. Fantasy <laughs> Island. All right. Anyway, so I think Dave's going to have another heart attack. I know. I think he's about to pass out. All right. So, <laughs> never got that straight. And finally, and there's so many of them, Dave. I call this one Socks with Caller. Here's an example of Dave not listening to me. I'm reading the lines that he wrote himself. So many times I say, Dave, just stick to stick our to, lines. Yeah, stick to the script. But sometimes you insist, Dave, on reading your own lines. Well, I, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I, next time you're here, uh, next time you go to the Ed Sullivan Theater, if you could bring me a pair of, of your soiled socks, uh, you know, I haven't received them yet. Just give them to the, the, the security guy out in front. What do you do with those? I have no idea. Probably send them to Jay Leno. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, Dave, we salute you, we honor you, and you're here live and ready to accept, I guess. What do you want to say? I don't know. What is The Rock? Is he a Puerto Rican or an Italian? Oh, The Rock? I just want to know so I can, you know, be friends with the guy. All right, Dave uh, accepting. That is his acceptance speech. He's so shy. I love him. Embarrassed by well, the board. This one's for you, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> Weren't you going to do some kind of riddle corner or something? Yeah, I got a little riddle corner for you guys. What is a riddle corner? I, so I just thought we'd try it, you know, bring it in and see if it's any good. Go ahead. Dave, to get on the mic, it's hard to hear. Yeah, Dave, we can, can you hear me now? Now we can kind of hear yeah. you. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, ready on this, Howard? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh -oh. here's, the, here's the first question for you. Go ahead. Why did, do why did God create women? Why did God create women? Why? All right, to carry semen from, you know, the bedroom to the toilet. All right, go ahead. All right. What else you got there? All right. How do you annoy wow. your girlfriend during sex, Howard? How do you know it's your girlfriend during sex? No, how do you annoy your girlfriend? Oh, how do you annoy your girlfriend during yeah. sex? Yeah. How? You phone her. You phone her. Exactly. All right, go ahead. Right. Why? Why do uh, women uh, fake orgasms? Why do women fake orgasms? Yeah, because they, they think men care. All right, that's a good one. What else you got there? All right. What's the uh, definition of making love, buddy? What is the definition of making love, What's buddy? What's the definition of making love? Something a woman does uh, while a, a guy is screwing her. Right, right. Got it. Got it. Does he have a top ten? I, I wish I'd missed that one. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see. All right. You Here's need to redeem one. yourself. Go ahead. No, no, no. Come on. You got a good one in there. All right. Uh, what should you do if, if your girlfriend starts smoking, Howard? What? Slow down and, and use a lubricant. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. I like that. Thank you very much. There you go. All right. You got a laugh out of me. How, how do... How, oh, all right. How many... You got this laugh out of me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Go ahead. All right. How many, how many sexists uh, does it take to uh, change a light bulb, Howard? How many sexists does it take to change a light bulb? Yeah. None. Let the bitch uh, cook in the dark. Okay, that's a good one. There you go. Maybe it's the delivery. I'm not sure. What, what's going I'm wrong? I'm with Karnak here. All right, let's try this one. Try one last one for your, right. for your riddle corner. Yep. Uh, what do you say to a woman with two black eyes, Howard? What? What do you say to a woman with two black eyes? What do you say? Nothing. Yeah, she's been told twice already. Right. All right. I like that. That's fun. Uh, all right, Dave, thanks, and congratulations on your FM meeting. We'll get back to you later. Thank you very much. Much later. <laughs> An excellent speech. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow he got through all of those without making a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> he did great. Just your acceptance speech right there. Oh, I like it. What if Tom Hanks had gotten an Oscar and went on stage and said, Is The Rock Puerto Rican or Italian? <laughs> yeah, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. You know, Howard? Yeah. It's kind of interesting you mention that because, you know, sometimes I look at a white woman uh, with a black man and I think, you know, you goddamn race traitor. <laughs> Dave Letterman, ooh. You can't say that you on really CBS. Think that. <laughs> yeah. Give that to Charles Grodin. <laughs> yeah, Charles Grodin will do some of that. You're right, Dave. Ah, uh, yeah. You should give him his topic. Exactly. Right. I look at a black woman. <laughs> walking papers. Sometimes I look at a black man walking with a white woman. I get mad. I say, you goddamn race traitor. <laughs> <laughs> you're, a, you're a race traitor. <laughs> 
I'm telling you, Howard, you know, is it just me or, or is there something very sexy about Bon Jovi saying the word bukkake? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Howard? Yeah. You know, you know I, I think I know why so many boys are having sex with their priests. Why? Because they're fags. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Letterman, why don't you ever do this? Why don't you ever say stuff like this on your TV show? You know, he just needed to warm up. That was awesome. Dave Letterman did funny today. I don't want Andy Rooney getting a hold of it. <laughs> you know, Howard, by the way, I, I had anal last night, and it was good. And, and, you know, the homeless guy who lives under the Ed Sullivan Theater thought so, too. Nice. <laughs> hey, I was wondering if you could send Evil Dave down to Virginia and tape him uh, pumping gas. What about that, Evil Dave? Would oh, you go down? Sure, yeah. I'll, I'll get on the train before they take it off. Take what off? I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I was staring at uh, Artie's little pink eraser. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's pressure from Eddie. <laughs> Who? Staring at Artie's little pink eraser, waiting for it, waiting for it to come out. <laughs> I don't know. He's staring at Artie's little pink up eraser. Up Eddie. No, but that Frazier. dog Eddie, yeah, from Frasier. Oh, that's Frasier from yeah. Eddie. Yeah. Put your little <laughs> pink eraser back, buddy. You mean the dog yeah, Eddie? The dog from Eddie. Just the press dog yourself from Eddie. up there. You know what I'm saying? Here's a phone call for Dave Letterman. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, Dave. How are um, you? Hello. Yeah, I'm on the air. Go ahead. Hi. I have a dog that does um, something pretty stupid. Um, he gives himself oral. Right. And I was wondering if I could ever come on the show and bring him. Let, let me ask you something, ma'am. What would you rather do for $20 million? Perform uh, oral on Rosie O'Donnell for an hour or, you know, suck on uh, frozen dog poop for, you know, 60 seconds? Uh, neither. Neither. Right? <laughs> That's why we're not going to take him, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Okay, have a nice day. You have your answer from Dave uh, Letterman. I think that's a little too risque for his show. Yeah, probably. Is that really? Brown gloves are dirty. That's why, ma'am. Yes, Dave. Can I just say something to Yucko the Clown if you're yeah. still listening? Yeah. You know, I, I have Ted Williams' uh, nuts in my pocket. I, I bought them for fifty thousand dollars. Eh, it's only money. Okay, and that's what you want to tell Yucko? Yeah. I He's to facing danger right now. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a, you know, I've got mine thing targeted. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> He wanted Yucko to know that before he died. Dave helping out Yucko. Yeah. Howard, can I can I just say one thing before we start sure. on the FMEs? Yeah. You know what I'd like to do at Christmas? I you know I hand out uh, free food to the homeless, but but I pee on it first. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. He's getting ready for the holidays. Son of a bitch. You give with one hand and take with the other. There you go. <laughs> Howard, can I just say something? Does anyone here besides me think that uh, Hillary Swank would make a great Central Park pony? I, I don't think that. I don't think that. You're alone, Dave. Yeah. Oh. Jessica, can I ask you a question? Yes. You, you sound sexy. Do you have a brother? Yes. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Howard? Yes. I, I have a suggestion. Oh, no. Why, why doesn't she go out with uh, Rosie O'Donnell's girlfriend? Why? I, I was reading in the tabloids that, you know, Rosie O'Donnell's girlfriend is... Uh, threatening to leave her and you know hey, it's going to take some uh, mighty uh, big cucumbers to replace uh, Rosie's fat fingers <laughs> hey Howard <laughs> yeah you know is, is it just is it just me or would you like to put a, a nice shellacking on that kid from uh, you know Stuart Little I know there's something really sexual about him it's like he's a man in a, in, you know, in a child's body he really knows how to shake what his uh, mommy gave him yowza Dave Letterman joined yeah. us the real Dave all right. Way to join into a conversation today. Yeah. <laughs> Howard, can no, I say I... something? Uh -oh. has, has anyone uh, besides me ever watched a, an Aerosmith uh, video and fantasize about receiving oral? <laughs> I don't. Receiving oral from what? Steven Tyler? No, no, Aerosmith. From Aerosmith, the whole band? No, I haven't, I haven't thought about that. By the way, Howard, I just want to say one thing. Have, have you seen that uh, that Madonna movie? No, that's a, that's a piece of crap, ain't it? Mm -hmm. You know, if I you know I had her on my uh, my show and she you know she wouldn't do me. Uh, she was on a, a special diet back then. I think it was old fish and uh, hair pie or something. Right. Yeah. And after the show, uh, you know, I, I took the chair she was sitting on. I uh, I drilled a hole in in the cushion right to where her you know vagina was, and you know I banged that chair for a month until <laughs> the frame cracked. Yeah, and then I sold it to Bill Maher. <laughs> you sold it, the vagina chair to Bill Maher? Bill Maher, sure. Wow. <laughs> Dave Letterman, uh, watch his show tonight. Uh, what time are you on? 11.30, right? Yeah. 7.35, actually. Yeah. What's up with that? I can't stay up late to watch my own show anymore. I don't know. Well, you're getting older. Yeah. I understand that. Evil Dave uh, joining us. How are you today? I, I'm sorry if I'm a little off today. Due to my medical, you know, due to recent medical discoveries, I, I'm no longer taking, uh, you know, female hormones. You know, Howard, I worked at a supermarket. 
And? Yeah, I was 16 years old drinking warm beer. I loved it. Got promoted, bam, just like that. <laughs> All right, Jeff, you're on the air. Yeah, where's Evil Dave at? How you doing, buddy? How come you're talking about Venus Williams? You're making jokes about her, and you have her on your show. She's a lovely woman. She's, she's. Are you mad at Dave Letterman? Yeah. Why? What are you mad about? What are you mad about? He's been talking about Venus Williams and Paul Newman. And he's been he's been saying bad things, and he has them on his show. Why do you have, why are you a hypocrite? You have Venus Williams on your show, and now you're saying bad things here. I, I like Venus Williams, and you know I, I obviously like Paul Newman a little better because you know the guy slips me some salad dressing, so he's okay. All right, there's your answer. Yeah. What do you think of that? I don't know. I, he's funny, but he's got to stop that. Howard, can I just say something? You know, you, you should get a pet because uh, I, you know I uh, I had a rabbit when I was uh, younger. Called it Lucky. And uh, I had this rabbit for a while, but, you know, one time I, I got angry and I, I threw Cottontail. That was her name. Uh, I thought it was Lucky. Nah. Was... <laughs> all right, listen, look, Dave, take a rest. All right. All right. <laughs> Story's all over the place. <laughs> can oh, I, can Dave, I say yeah, something? Sure. You know, you know, when I see a pregnant woman, I, 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 a pregnant woman, I, I go to her and, and rub her belly and say, you know, I think you're having a retard. That pretty much sums up. Wow. Right Do they get mad at you? They oh, must, yeah. yes. <laughs> That's a good idea. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wow. You're talking about uh, dogs, Howard. You know what a good breed would be? It's a very rare breed we had. It was called a, a Belgian airhead. <laughs> <laughs> Look that up on the internet.com. Uh, <laughs> Dave Letterman. You know, I can see why you get $31 million a year. Howard? Yeah? You, you know what I like to do? Sometimes you know, I, I, uh, I like to shave my, uh, my pubes and uh, squeeze my legs together and run around in my apartment like a you know, naked little schoolgirl. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. And Dave, wow. <laughs> There's some good advice for you. Dave Letterman. Yeah, can I offer you some advice? Sure. Just forget the birth control and stick to Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dave, coming alive. Dave. <laughs> Conversation over to Evil Dave. Dave Letterman, go ahead. I was ahead. just going to say I wanted to ask the daughter, what's, uh, what's his hottest uh, body part? <laughs> <laughs> what's my dad's hottest yeah. part? His toupee. His toupee? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my dad has all his hair. Uh-huh. Hey, Dave, okay. what's up? Well, I was just going to say to the, the gentleman, does he have nice, firm buns and look like Elvis Presley? Yeah. All right. He does. Okay, that's good to know. What's that, Dave? Wait a second. I, what about Ben Affleck uh, dating uh, J-Lo? I, I thought black men were supposed to date, you know, fat-assed white women, not the other way around. <laughs> I don't know. You sure don't. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, let's leave you with a comment from Evil Dave, everybody. Dave, do your top five list. What All right, your I got top a little list here for you, Howard. Very Go ahead. Here. Uh, the category here, reasons now, Howard. Top five reasons. I, I knew it was a black guy that broke into my desk uh, stealing $4,000. All right, this sounds incredibly racist. Go Thank ahead. Thank God they didn't get my heroin. Here we go. Top five reasons. I knew it was a black guy that broke into my desk stealing $4,000. Uh, number five, Cheetos uh, stains on the desk blotter. Okay. Yeah. Number, number four. four, grape soda stains on my leather chair. How about that? Go ahead. Number three, uh, Bakuke uh, DNA in my nude picture of Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Bakuke? Bakuke, yeah. <laughs> That's All right, go ahead. You rum, say Bukaki, I say Bakuke. Yeah, that's a Puerto Rican rum. I don't Bakuke you right out of here. Bakuke DNA on my nude pictures of Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Number two, All right. an empty Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket on the wastebasket. And number one, the number one reason I knew it was a black guy that stole it, that broke into my desk stealing four thousand dollars, fresh Afro Sheen on the handle of my desk drawer. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have a Bakuke party. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Evil Dave, with your incredibly racist material. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, we'll watch your show tonight at 11.35, Dave Letterman Show, right? Yeah, and I just want to thank uh, my producer here, Benji, for uh, registering his body odor with the New York uh, City Police Department. Thank you very much. Okay. And we'll see you tomorrow. You know who looks all of our ages combined? Who? Evil Dave Letterman. <laughs> how, are, how are you? How are you doing, Dave? I am pretty good. I just uh, want to wish you folks a happy new year, and I, I just want to say that uh, I have pictures of uh, Jimmy uh, Kimmel in bed with a four-year-old, and uh, I will be willing to destroy them if he takes that ridiculous uh, late-night uh, show uh, he's planning to do off the schedule.
Yeah, well, you must be envious because he's the new young guy. They're, they're saying he's Jimmy the kid. Jimmy yeah. Kimmel's the kid. Remember when you were the kid, Dave? Oh yeah, that was many many uh, you know eons ago. Dave Letterman's with us. You look yeah. great, Thank really. You. I was just joking. You don't look all of our combined ages. Oh, God. Just uh, mine and Robin's together. <laughs> By the way, Howard, I'm sorry if I didn't call you on your birthday. I was I was sore from uh, where Paul Schaefer used a strap on on me. That, that, oh, that bald little bastard. I want to tell you, you know, he likes to get roughed, and 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 my prostate is, you know, is like a sponge now right <laughs> hey by the way I, I, how are the reading lessons going you sound great this morning yeah uh, pretty good 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 <laughs> maybe you got the glasses fixed. you got the glasses <laughs> <laughs> love having evil dave here dave letterman everybody who really lets we call him evil dave here because he's crazy he, he just, lets it all hang out yeah, yeah by the, but that paul schaefer dildo line was fabulous uh paul is you know he's, he, he inspires me i'll tell you <laughs> Speaking so, of inspiration, no. Oh, <laughs> you know why don't you, you know, just why don't you save yourself a little bit? Right? On through. Monologue is not necessary here. Don't uh, what they call shoot your load. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, you know I ain't got a cold, but I'll be careful. Not to change the subject, but Evil Dave is here. Yeah. yeah right. And you know he flew in. Of course, of course, very yeah, why are we this What did you say? To CBS. Right, Dave. Yeah. Dave, what about you? We never hear about your sex life. Oh God, I don't have one. I, I, we're, I you were talking about this uh, this uh, this tape that you were watching that you used to get to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any guys wearing diapers on it? No, no guys That's wearing diapers. You, you know the great thing about diapers, Howard? Yeah. You, you can fold them up. Uh, put them in your pocket and and then open them uh, later on. You know to savor the aroma uh, of a healthy toddler. That to oh. me is all right there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, Dave is here. Yeah. Um, great segue. If you want to get into some reality. No. And, and speaking of uh, being in love with people, you know, I I, I would like to uh, kidnap that uh, you know Beyonce Knowles and bring her up to a shack in the woods. You know, strip her naked and suck the fat out. You know, suck the fat out of her ass with a straw. Right. That's that's love right there. Who are you gonna do that to? Uh, that Beyonce Knowles. No. How many times did you practice that night? I don't know. No, no. I heard twenty or thirty. Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. If you want to get into some reality, hard. Yeah. Uh, Evil Dave was uh, complaining, not complaining, but rightfully complaining yesterday that um that Stuttering John owes him money and yeah. won't repay him. Oh my! Oh, God. dead out. Are you serious? Oh, Dave doesn't have a lot of money. Yeah. When did he hit you, Dave? Huh? Did he really hit you up for money? No, I lost in a poker game. I don't know. The guy doesn't want to pay us. No, what happened, Dave, really? Uh, tell the Dave, story. Dave, no, for, for, for real. Huh? Dave. Yeah, yeah you know, he'll, he'll, he'll get around. How much did he borrow from me? Huh? How much did he borrow from oh, me? Oh, I don't know. About uh, $200. <laughs> no. Are you serious? I don't know. No, really, how much did he borrow from uh, you? Answer it. Uh, 200 uh, bucks. Really? really? Yeah. Are you serious? I take it out of my petty cash fund or something. When did he borrow two hundred from you? Oh, I just I did some stuff for him a long time back, you know. No, 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 no. L look at me. I got him some orange juice. What? What do we? Answer it seriously. Yeah. I'm asking you as a human being now. Yeah. You don't have to be funny. All right. John, uh, why would John ask you for money? Huh? <laughs> Dave, you gotta answer. John, what are you no doing? I didn't ask him for money. He introduced us at a comedy show, and I and I and he and then I I I I, I thought I sent them the check. I didn't. I told him I was I was going to give him the check. Instead, last week he wanted it. I said so. Instead, I just give him cash today. I, 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 there I, you I, go. I swear on my life. Well, you're stuttering like a madman. Because it's so I I I. I spoke to him last week. I said, "You, we really didn't get the check." He said, "No." I said, "All right, I'm, you know, did you, you know, you know, email me your address," and and and, and then it was fine. Then I heard he was coming in today, so I was going to send it last week, and then I said, "Screw it, I'll just give you cash today." There you go. Sure. <laughs> He's an honorable man. I swear to God, Dave. Did, was there ever a chance? All right, all right. I got to take a. Um, I got. I got to take a break. <laughs> See, I heard he had mm. borrowed money. Mm. Howard, by the way, what time does the boy evolution start? What does that mean, boy evolution? Boy, do I have no idea. What comes of the boy evolution start? Yeah. Is this boy a evaluation bit of... start? <laughs> of the boy evaluation. Yeah. Oh. oh <laughs> By the way, Howard, can you put me in touch with these people who just uh, cloned a baby? I, I have uh, one of Susan Sarandon's hairs, and I want to, uh, you know, clone her boobs and vagina. I, I, I don't want the rest of her. Who, you know, who wants to hear her yapping uh, nonstop about war in Iraq? I, I just want the uh, the booty tang. That's all I want. What about the boy evolution? I want to go back to that. All right, listen, we got to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. You know who he sounds a little bit like, Howard? Who? Uh, Emmanuel Lewis. You know, that Emmanuel Lewis, he, he's such a cutie. You just want to pull his pants down and, and give him a big kiss. And Dave Letterman with us this morning. Uh, Dave, why so many references to children? <laughs> He doesn't know. <laughs> it's basically children and beyond snow. Yeah. You know what he's trying to do? What? Boy evolution. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, you know what he's trying to do? He's, he's trying to be shocking here on radio and drum up some interest in his television show. I see. Okay. And you he know. thinks the kitty porn humor? Yeah. He thinks that'll send it over the top. <laughs> Sex sells, Robin. Never forget that. <laughs> you know, Howard, we ought to fix this guy up with uh, Diana Ross. You know what I'm saying? Dave Letterman with us this that, morning. That Diana Ross is, is something, isn't she? She must be doing a lot of drinking. I, I've seen pictures of her, and she looks like she's fallen face down a lot of times. <laughs> you know, that, that old puss of hers is eating a lot of gravel. Yeah. She starts, uh, you know, oh starting to look goodness. like Scatman Crothers. And, you know, <laughs> if you're banging a German guy uh, twice your age uh, for years, uh, you, you'd be doing a lot of drinking, too. <laughs> well, you, well, there you go. There's uh, Dave with us this morning, and... Uh, He's going to hang out all show, Rob. He's sounding off. He's sounding off. He's really wild this morning. Yeah, extra evil. Fix that guy up with uh, Diane Ross. That's what I say. Evil Dave Letterman. Thank you. Yeah. You know, and Howard, I, I heard that uh, Ashton uh, uh, Crutcher has a, an enormous and uh, beautiful penis. Wait a minute. Did I say that loud? Yeah, pay no attention to me. All right. That was perfect interruption, by the way. <laughs> I was on a topic. Uh, well. Dave Letterman. Was <laughs> Ashton Crutcher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When he has a thought, he just has to spew. Howard. <laughs> and then, you, you know, I heard uh, Renee uh, Zellinger is, is one month uh, uh, vomiting away from being really hot. Well, say it again and do it slowly because your reading lessons aren't paying off. All right. What did you hear about Renee Zellinger? I just heard Renee Zellinger is a uh, month away of, from being really hot. Is that She's, how you pronounce it? Yeah. You're saying Renee who? Renee Zellinger. Okay, what about her? I just heard she's a you know one month away from from being really hot from vomiting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait Z it one more time. Yeah, yeah. All right. You got Renee right. Yeah. Renee Zellinger. <laughs> Zellinger. Zellinger. Yeah. Renee Renee Zell. What does that say? I, that, don't know. I know. I don't know. <laughs> just phonetically. Just I mean, what you can say it. Zellinger. Zellinger. Is that Zellinger? Yeah. No, there's. All right, let's Renee hear you Zellweger. It's a W, <laughs> clearly a W. All right, let's hear, let's hear you pronounce it. Renee Zellweger. Yeah, is one month away of vomiting away from being really hot. There you one go. One month one away from much. Of, uh, what? of vomiting. Yeah, but he keeps reading it wrong. I just, it's a good joke. <laughs> Was good on paper. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Dave Letterman. You know, I I think I might be suffering from uh, post uh, partial you know post mortem depression because every time I see a baby, I want to kill it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can we go back to Renee Zellinger? I was just trying to cheer you up, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Make you feel good about yourself. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> you got to deal with the lawyers, buddy. Get a neck brace. Get out of that contract. Hey, da Evil Dave is here. He's dying to do his top ten list. Yeah, he kept list saying he books. has a top ten list, yeah. and he does not want to miss it. Yeah, what, what is your top ten list uh, about? The category, Howard and Robin from the uh, home office. Uh, these are things now, t uh, things Pete Thompson uh, might have said to make you think he's a pedophile. <laughs> okay, yeah. go ahead. Top things. 10 things Pete Townsend might have said to make you think he's a pedophile. Here we go. Number 10, that's not my penis, kid. That's my cookie monster. All right. That's about that. Number 9, wash the ice cream off your face before you put it in my lap. <laughs> in my lap. Yeah. Pull it over like a pregnant pole holder. Number 8, I'll buy you a Tickle Me Elmo if you uh, tickle this old homo. What does that mean? <laughs> I see Jay Leno do stuff like this. Number seven. Number six. I'm not your mommy, but I can breastfeed you. <laughs> number five. Look, we're both wearing diapers. <laughs> oh. Now, Sam. Number two. If it's not too big, use both hands. And the number one thing, Howard or Robin, Pete Townsend might have said to you to make you think he's a pedophile. Oh. Oh. Well, that killed a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like me to do the list again, Howard? <laughs> yeah, do it for the next. Slowly. Yeah. Do it for the next hour and a half. Sure, I'll pronounce it right this time. We have uh, two hours to kill. Did you say Renee Zellweger? Uh, you say it, buddy. I just think there's nothing more annoying than listening to a guy with no voice on the radio. I don't want to be the annoying guy. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Guys have been doing it for years, Howard. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> sitting here and wasting my time with this whole goddamn station. And I'll tell you something, Howard. This guy sounds to me like he needs to do some uh, community service work. You know, the, the Make-A-Wish Foundation keeps bugging me about some uh, cancer kid that wants uh, to meet me. You know, I'm sorry, but those uh, bald little heads and a baseball cap just freak me out. For God's sakes, take some pride in your appearance. All right, Dave. 
<laughs> well, at least he has a voice. Yes, yes, he's yeah, and he's willing to use it. Yes, Chris. Yeah, Howard, they bleeped that last one off. There, we ain't hear nothing. I'm in the city, man. They bleeped that. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. There's no uh, point in me. Ridiculous. Yeah, there's no hey, point in me doing you know, this show. Uh, hey, Howard. Yeah. And you know, I've got a question I want to ask. No, don't ask me a question right now. Can I ask you a question, all right. please, Dave? Yeah, all right. I'm fuming over the top ten list that they bleeped. Mm. Uh, I could talk about something if I could. No, no, uh, Dave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I think enough. it's important, Howard. No. All right, buddy. You know what, Howard? I've got an idea. Uh, I got an idea. <laughs> we we can problems. talk about. We excuse me. We can talk about why uh, Ben Affleck is is marrying uh, J Lo so she can stay in this country. And that's you know that's what Paul Rodriguez uh, told. Dave, me. it's okay. You don't have to do anymore. He's probably just a little jealous. Last time I saw him, he was standing at you know an intersection, L.A., selling bags of oranges. Is he on tape? You can't stop. That no, tape. you can't stop that tape. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dave yeah. Letterman. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Sweet week. What is it, Evil Dave? No, I was just going to say about that woman who uh, had that uh, urination on her dinner. At least we, you know, go now go now know it goes good with uh, white wine. Helping you out. It was a bunch of guys, Dave. How much time did that kill? <laughs> Howard, let me ask you a question. Which scares you more, the Spanish or the blacks? You know, Dave, neither. <laughs> you, the, the answer is yeah, you scare me, whatever you are. <laughs> um, you are a very scary man. Howard? Yeah. Howard, is it just me or is uh, Simon Cowell sounding a little like uh, Stuttering John? I don't know. It just Does it sound like that? It's you. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what Glad you're we cleared about. that up. Dave, are you a fighter? Uh-huh. Dave no, Letterman, I everyone. I CBS. I can't fight anymore. Right. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, thank you, evil Dave Letterman. Yeah. Yeah, you were the best, Dave.